Hello, my friends. I am so glad that you're here today. I am talking about the fact that so many of us after divorce are sad and we really want help with figuring out how to deal with that sadness and what to do next to really be able to move on from the divorce, right? So today we're going to talk about that. And I really want to dive into this whole idea of believing that the things that are outside of us, like the situations in our lives, we think that those are creating our emotions and our emotional stability. And it's just not true. So we're really going to dive into that today. So stick around and we'll talk about it. So many of us believe that if we could just change something outside of us, then we'd be so much happier. The sadness would go away. Things would be so much better, right? I really want to help you see this is not the case. It is not the case at all. So we live our lives as human beings with circumstances or situations that happen all the time all day long, our whole lives are circumstances and situations, right? So I have clients who think that their husband cheated on them and that is what is creating their sadness. Or it was them getting divorced after 20 years of marriage and that is what's created their sadness. Or if he would have just loved me more or if I could have just kept the house cleaner or if we were still together, then I wouldn't be sad anymore and my life would be so much better. But here's the truth about all this. Nothing outside of us has created your feeling of sadness or loneliness or heartbreak or whatever. Your divorce didn't create it. Your husband cheating on you didn't create it. You not cleaning the house good enough didn't create it. None of the things outside of you has created that. Those are situations or circumstances and they are happening all the time in our lives. But here's what you need to understand. Those circumstances are neutral. Now, I know exactly what you're thinking. You're thinking, she's so stupid. What is she even talking about? Of course, my divorce has made me sad. Of course, me finding out that my husband cheating on me has made me sad. But this is what I want to explain to you. Those comments and those thoughts only serve to prove my point. The act of divorce the act of legally severing a marriage union by the courts, that is neutral. And if that's how you have to think about divorce, to think of it in a neutral way, go for it. It is neutral. It means nothing to you or to the other party in your divorce or to anyone else in the world, really, until you have a thought about it. I really wanna drive that home. It is neutral until you think something about it. It means nothing to you and it is not the reason for your experience and it is not the reason for your emotions until you have thought about it. If it was the divorce that was causing you to be sad, then every single person who ever went through a divorce would be sad and they would hate it and they would be upset. But it's not the case. There are people who get divorced who have a beautiful, loving, even I will go as far as saying a happy divorce. There are people who get divorced and it's not a big deal. There are people who get divorced and they aren't sad afterwards. They're actually excited or elated or ready to move on with their lives. This is how we know that it's not the divorce causing your emotions. Because again, if that were the case, everyone would feel the same way and they don't. Now, don't hear me wrong. I am not in any way saying that you shouldn't feel sad if that is how you're feeling. It is not wrong to feel sad after a divorce. It is not wrong to feel happy after a divorce. It is not wrong to feel any emotion that you feel based off of whatever you're thinking about the things that are going on in your life. It's not wrong. It's not bad. The only reason I'm pointing it out is so that you can see 
that you are the creator of your emotions, of your feelings, of the pain that you're going through. And that is amazing news because that means you're 100% in control of it. And you can feel sad for as long as you want to. That is totally up to you and it's totally okay. When I went through my divorce, I was so sad for the longest time and it was okay. And now that I am through that stage, I am happy with my divorce. I am friends with my ex and we co-parent in an amazing way. And I'm happy with that. I'm happy about my thoughts about that. And it's all good, right? But if you are in a space where you want to feel sad about it, please feel sad. And don't think that I'm trying to tell you not to or take that away from you in any way because that is not the point. The only point that I want to make is that you're the creator of it, of the sadness, not of the divorce. And I'm not putting the blame on you for that or the cheating or any of that. It's the sadness that you're creating and it's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. And you can change it at any time that you want, okay? We're gonna talk about that right now. If you're having sadness and you don't want to be any longer, then the first step is going to be working on you. You're the only person that you're in complete control of, right? We can't control the people outside of us. We can't control our ex or our children or our family or the person over there or the boss over here or any of that. The only thing that you are 100% in control of is your thoughts, right? So let's work on that. Once we have your mindset in place, where you're gonna feel better, you're gonna notice that it really doesn't matter what's happening outside of you. Because if you're in charge of your own feelings, you get to decide. So how do we do that? How do we feel in control of our emotions when it feels like everything outside of us is going out of control, when it feels like the divorce is the worst thing and my life is in shambles and all these different things? How can we feel in control of our emotions? Well, awareness. It's always always, 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 always the first step. You have to know where you're at right now in order to know where you want to go or in order to get where you want to go. So think about it. I've said this before in other videos, but really think about it. Like if you're using a Google maps or something where you bring up the app and the very first thing that it asks you is where are you at right now? What is your location? It has to know where you're at in order to tell you how to get where you wanna go. And it's the same thing when it comes to creating any kind of happiness or any kind of emotion really that you want to be feeling. If you want to change from the sadness and the unhappiness after divorce, you're going to have to know what thoughts are creating that sadness and that loneliness and that unhappiness, okay? So we're gonna get started on that right now. And it's going to come through a series of questions and just writing out your thoughts about these. That is where the awareness comes. Recognizing the thoughts that are going through your head and then when they pop up again later on over the next several weeks or months, you go, oh, there it is. There's that thought that's creating this feeling of sadness inside of me and you just recognize it and it might take a little while to start recognizing that's okay it's all part of your journey and there's nothing wrong with the journey that you're on I promise you none of this is a problem okay so here's the questions to get you started on the awareness of those thoughts that are really creating the emotions in your life what is the problem write out your answer where are you struggling right now what isn't right? What feels off? What scares you? What isn't working? Any of those, all of those are questions that are going to really get your mind fueled with thoughts about what's going on. And that will bring the awareness. Everything you write down are thoughts that are creating an emotion. And they might be creating different emotions. Different thoughts create different emotions. And some of them might be Thoughts that create happy things and some of them might be thoughts that are creating sadness and struggle and pain and it's okay. We just want to become aware. So let me say them one more time so you can write them down. What is the problem? What are you struggling with right now? 
what isn't right, what feels off, what scares you, what isn't working. Any and all of those questions will give you awareness. Get writing for at least five minutes and write everything that comes to mind. Don't worry about grammar. Don't worry about punctuation. Don't even worry about judging it like, oh no, I don't wanna be thinking that. It's okay, just write it down. We're not gonna judge it. We're just going to look at it. Thoughts aren't wrong or bad. We just wanna take a look at them, okay? They're just thoughts and it's all good. So once you've done this, and then you start to become aware of some of the thoughts that are creating your emotions, and then you're like, okay, now what? Well, now is the time that you can really dig in with some guided help from me. And when you get to this point, I want to invite you to a free 30 minute coaching call with me. On this call, you're gonna be able to tell me what you're really struggling with. These thoughts that are really creating emotions that you don't want or are tired of or are ready to move on from. You're gonna be able to tell me where you see yourself over the next few months or where you want to see yourself how you wanna move forward and who that person is that you wanna become. I'm gonna share with you where I can see places of growth and where change can come. And you're gonna come away from this call with a plan to create more happiness in your life after divorce and to really start moving forward if that is what you want. So you can schedule that call with me by clicking in the description below and clicking the link or you can always go to my website, karennelsoncoaching.com and schedule it there. Let's move you on from this pain that you're feeling after divorce. You're in charge. You can do it. All you have to do is make a decision that you want to change and take this first step to move forward. We can get you there. I'll see you in the next video.